the path of, of consulting with wise people. That's great. But to go and to jump, no, I need to be holy, I need to go to, to deep in the, in the ice, I need to go close my eyes, yeah, I cannot look at women, yeah, I know, I must eat only mehadri and I cannot touch if it's not mehadri. You're cutting the branch that you're sitting on. You're cutting the branch from your family. You're cutting the branch from your friends. You're cutting the branch of your community. You're cutting the branch from Judaism. You're idolizing your desires. Your false dreams of become righteous and pure and holy and divine and whatever. And you're just dreaming. That's not the path. There is a short way. And there is a long way. And the short way not us usually doesn't bring you to the, to the right place. There is a way that looks very straight, but it brings the person to hell. And there is a long way with a lot of up and downs that will bring you to heaven. And it's better to reach in the end to heaven than, than ever to get there because that you wanted too much like uh, like flies and, and mosquitoes that are flying into the fire, flaming fire. Oh, the light, the light. <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want that. Huh? Oh, no, but it's such awesome light. Rabbeinu Kadosh, no. <laughs> You're dead. You're done. Two years blocking his eyes, cannot see no woman, doesn't look at his wife in the house, guarding his eyes from his wife in the house, not looking at his daughter, cannot wash his children. No, I'm sorry, I cannot. After two years, porno. Oh. You cannot hold the horses. You think that you're an angel, you think that you're the Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh, you think you are Rabbi Avraham Malach. you think that you're a grandson of, 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 the, of Rabbi Yoel Misatmer, who you think you are? You're a broken vessel with leakings in your brain and you're not able to function like an angel. You are a broken vessel, you're a rack and you need to recover and you need to heal yourself. And you cannot climb to the heights. It's Babylon Tower. Okay, we want an Amuna Tower, not Babylon Tower. You need to have faith. You need to relax. You're guarding your eyes from your wife. You're guarding your eyes from... Okay, relax. And if you guard your eyes and you don't look, is it changing your filthy thoughts that you have inside? Is it really cleaning your thoughts from inside? You can close your eyes and you can imagine things that no television in the world is going to provide you. Is it helping to guard your eyes? It's not helping to guard your eyes. What is helping? To pray. To have a clean mind. To have clean eyes. To have a clean heart. To have a clean soul. To have a clean body. To be healthy. To be relaxed. To be calm. To love your wife, to appreciate your wife, to understand that your girls, your daughters are your daughters, that women are your sisters and not objects, that people are human beings with emotions, with feelings, that will help. That will make a huge change in your life to open your mouth and to talk to the Creator about your real problems, not to ignore them. No, I'm going to thank Hashem on my sicknesses. Go talk to Hashem about the fact that you're ill, that you're sick. Go tell Hashem I'm sick. It's much better than to go, thank you Hashem that I'm sick. It's crazy. That's not the intention. That's not the meaning of those holy books. This is why it's written, Gadol Shimushami Limuda, that it's more important to be a helper of those holy rabbis, of the righteous people. Then you can learn the right intention from those righteous people and not just to read the books, to learn the wisdom, then to learn the wisdom. You can learn the wisdom and not to understand what it's written. But when you were close to that righteous man, when you lived your life close to him, when you were holding his hand in his ups and in his downs, in your ups and in your downs for years, then you can understand his intention. Then you can aim to the truth. 
And reading those books, thousands, I know people that know Likutei Moran by heart, and they, their wives, they hate them. It cannot be. It's impossible. If your wife, she hates you, and you're such a righteous man that knows Likutei Moran by heart, something is wrong here. You don't understand the wisdom. This is why it's not shining to your wife. This is why your wife is not happy. Because you're not illuminating. Because you don't understand. You don't get the light from the book. You just hold the book, the letters, the physical side of the aspect of the book. Oh yeah, I know that Torah. I memorized that Torah. Yeah, it's Torah. Kuf Ein Vav. Yeah, it's written in Torah. Samich Aleph, second part of Likutei Moran. <laughs> it's the biggest joke of them all. I want your wife to testify that you follow the Likutei Moran. Not that you are going to praise it. No, it's Torah Resh Ein Zayin. Yeah, I read that Torah. It's stupid. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's, co- it's nothing. To know that it's Torah Resh Ein Zayin or Resh Pe Bet or Samech Gimel, it's nothing. You need to keep Torah Samech Gimel. You need to keep Torah Resh Ein Zayin. You need to live Torah Resh Ein Zayin. Not to memorize Torah Resh Ein Zayin. It won't bring you to heaven. To follow Torah Resh Ein Zayin will bring you straight.